I'd prefer to wake and bake. But hey, to each their own. Schüler von Blackwell, verpasst nicht die wichtigste Mahlzeit des Tages. Behandelt euren Körper richtig während des Stresses der Abschlussprüfung. But fire's so pretty. Tragt euren Teil zum Brandschutz bei. Go orders, go orders. Nein. <lacht> What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Sagt nein zu Drogen. Ein Sieg auf Drogen ist kein Sieg. Es ist eine Abkürzung in die Tiefen des Versagens. Die lädt doch ein. Ich sag's doch. Something's definitely missing from that totally blank wall. War da nicht das Go Otters? Na komm. Dann nehmen wir mal Dr. Äh, Direktor Wells. Doktor. Doktor, Doktor. Ladies and Gentlemen, Principal Wells. <lacht> Sieht doch geil aus. Lass dich bloß nicht erwischen. Tada! Oh, verlorenes Einhorn? Nein! Jetzt sagt bloß, es geht wieder der Reihenfolge nach und wir haben schon drei verkackt. Schade. DVD von Steph wohl. Geiler Merkzettel. Students at Blackwell have this herd instinct to glom up into little groups like sheep. And if you just want to be alone, you get labeled like some dangerous outsider. Just like any other prison. Except now the prison follows you wherever you go, thanks to social media. I can't believe Rachel posted a photo of the two of us together last night. Am I still an outsider if I'm hanging out with Rachel Amber now? And what does it mean that hanging out was so awesome? Does that make me just the same as every other student here? Nah, fuck that. Am Brunnen saß gerade Victoria Chase. Liebenswertes Mädchen. Wir wollen doch nichts verpassen. War da was? Huch! I should probably be getting to class, but I just don't care. Ja, wir trödeln auch ganz schön rum. Did last night really happen? The internet says it did, but I still can't believe it. Rachel Amber. The drama star, honor student, popular princess of Blackwell. Swoops in like a Batman to save my ass and thrash to firewalk? Either that was a dream or real life just got a shit ton crazier. Oh. Principal Wells. Hey. Miss Price. The sign clearly says, do not walk on the stage. Such disregard for your fellow students' efforts won't alleviate your record of major infractions. Man kann es ja auch ein wenig übertreiben, sie saß ja nur. How many minor infractions in a major one? 
This is no joke, Miss Price. Who's joking? You've seen my math grades. Perhaps you will find me less amusing if I mention the various allegations I've been hearing about your drug use. You know Blackwell has a zero-tolerance policy. Do I have to initiate a search of your person in order to establish the veracity of these allegations, Miss Price? That's what I thought. I'll look forward to seeing you in my office after school today. Uh oh. How does that sound? Oh. Ach komm. All right, sir. I'll see you after school. I'll count the minutes. That guy's a tool. Wir müssen ja nicht immer stänkern, oder? Need my DVD from Steph. I bet she's nerding it up with Mikey somewhere. The future needs excellence. The future is an asshole. Ugh, Victoria Chase. I'd rather vomit razor blades than talk to her. Und trotzdem tun wir's jetzt. Oh, Carrie Price. <laughs> it's Chloe. Oh, right. I'm just teasing. People have been taking me so seriously since I won the Beacon's Young Artist Award for my photography. You don't say. Between that and the Vortex Club, it's hard to keep people from putting me up on a pedestal or whatever. But you know all about that. What with Rachel Amber? Am I right? Wait. What about Rachel Amber? Rachel posted a slamming selfie of you two having the time of your lives. Do tell. <laughs> it was a pretty normal night for us. A little music, a little dancing. We murdered a guy. <laughs> you are so funny. Oh, seriously, though. I didn't realize you and Rachel were such BFFs. We're really not. Uh, so, what's she into? You know, what's her thing? Is it drugs? I'm not judging or anything. I figure if she's hanging out with you, she must be into some effed up shit. <laughs> you know? Seriously, I don't know why you're talking to me about Rachel. <laughs> oh, everybody loves her. Little Miss Perfect. So you're jealous of Rachel Amber. That's what's happening right now. Gotcha. Oh, God, I don't have time for this. I didn't even finish the chemistry assignment, and you're... being you. Oh. Was? Ich bin so bad? I'm sorry, Victoria. I didn't mean to be rude. You know, I finished the assignment. Want some help? You? Help me? Nope. Of course. That last problem was hard, right? If I'm remembering correctly, the answer was fluorine, uranium, carbon, potassium, and uh, uranium again. Does that sound right? Perfect. Hey, thanks, Carrie. No problem. Carrie, <laughs> Alter, alleine wie die läuft. Die kenne ich noch nicht. Hey Chloe. Hey Samantha. What are you reading? Who's afraid of Virginia Woolf? I read that last year in Mrs. Hoyda's English class. I didn't think you did homework. <laughs> Normally I don't, but the play was actually good. What did you like about it? The story is about how relationships only work if people are willing to lie to each other. I'm not sure if you're joking. Sorry, I'm a little slow sometimes. I'm a little bitchy sometimes, so <laughs> it's cool. People always say that. But I think you're actually... Sorry, Chloe. No one says anything like that. I don't know what I'm actually talking about. I bet. Oh man, die Kleine hat ja echt Schiss, was Falsches zu sagen. 
So, sitzt jetzt hier irgendwo noch einer da? Aber wie ist denn der nochmal? Justin! Hey, Price Check. Gotten in any good trouble lately? Hey, out of the blue question, what do you think of Rachel Amber? She is amazing. Uh, if you're into chicks that are hot, smart, and hot. <laughs> I mean, she helped me out a while back. I was failing algebra hard. I believe you. Check it. After I bombed my midterm last fall, she tutored me for the rest of the semester. And then I crushed it. C plus. <laughs> Last night, I scoped out this crazy party at the old mill up north. Kind of a DIY thing. Wow, no shit. I thought that place was like, Math Central. My cousin met this hooker there, Whatever. And... It was cool, okay? You wouldn't understand. <laughs> All right. Guess I'll see you in class. Word. Jetzt ernsthaft? Alle glauben nicht, dass wir in Unterricht kommen. So, noch irgendwas? Irgendwo, irgendwer. Steph and Mikey normally post up somewhere quiet in the courtyard. Ja, verstanden. Da ist aber noch einer. Chloe, I'd like to talk to you about wildfire awareness and prevention. Good morning to you too, Evan. According to the Department of Forestry, over 90% of this season's fires were caused by humans. That's a record high and completely preventable. This is for college, right? I don't believe you actually care about this. My interest in fire prevention is completely sincere. Besides, I intend to get into college on the strength of my photography alone. Do you think Rachel Amber would be willing to pose for my portfolio? She's so artistic. I bet she would be a dream model. What do you think? I guess. Ich auch. Wir haben sie nämlich gesehen. I gotta run. Wait, one last thing. Will you sign my petition to have a fire safety assembly at school? Sure. I love assemblies. Some of the best naps of my life. Wow, thanks. I did not see that coming. You being, you know, interested in complicated issues, helping out with the public. Do you want me to change my mind? I... No. <laughs> no. How seriously am I taking this right now? Sehr ernst. There you go. Just don't expect this to become a habit. Blackwell Academy. Home of... Tomorrow's leaders. What? Caring about important issues? Caring in general. I think she was the only one who normal underscored. Oh, da fliegt es. Woo. Steph Gingrich and Mikey North, Blackwell's premier indoor kids. Steph has created something of a business selling pirated DVDs to other students. If I had known the Celestial Avenger was bloodied, I would have totally given him my potion. It was a skill challenge. Potion wouldn't have worked. Skill challenge? It's part of the tabletop game we play. You wouldn't understand. <laughs> you wouldn't understand. Nerd. Give me a break, nerds. I've heard of tabletop games. Cool. Got my DVD. One Blade Runner. Director's cut coming right up. Sweet. Five bucks, right? Keep it. I'm just glad someone here appreciates the classics. You even asked for the director's cut, which took out the shitty voiceover and replaced it with a sweet dream sequence. Dream life over real life. That's my motto. Right on. Hey, do you know if Rachel's a gamer? Rachel Amber? You're asking me? Didn't you two go out last night or was it just like a friend thing? Auf einmal sind wir top Thema der Schule. Jeder fragt uns nach Rachel, obwohl wir sie nur einmal gesehen haben und das flüchtig. 
I don't know what you heard, but Rachel and I barely know each other. Oh, sweet. <laughs> Steph has a crush. Chloe, you should join her game. Yeah, I don't have 50 hours right now. Thanks, though. We're at the end of the campaign, so it'll only take, like, 20 minutes? What else have you got to do before class? Wir sollten auf jeden Fall pünktlich kommen. Not really in the mood. Maybe later. You know where to find us. DVD, check. Next stop, chemistry class. Joy. Also die Steuerung ist ja echt mal heftig eingestellt. Vielleicht sollte ich die beim nächsten Mal überdenken. Oh man, ich wollte doch gucken. What the hell? What have you got here, Twitch? Don't call me that. True North. A jock so dumb he makes jocks look bad. Guess Nathan Prescott made the shit list. Oh wow. This is some really weird crap, Prescott. It's not yours. Give it back. I hate that you're on the team now. You're such a loser. Guys, no need to fight. You can both be losers. <laughs> the mute speaks? Whoa, whoa! You earn a spot on the squad, Twitch. You don't have your dad try to buy off the coach. At least my family pays tuition. How much financial aid does your deadbeat dad need again? Wow. Dick move, Nathan. My dad lost his job at the shipyard when your dad closed it down. And you want to talk shit to me? Leave Nathan alone. You know something, Prescott? I'm going to do you a favor. You can't be a part of the team and be into this stupid crap at the same time. You're a piece oh, of shit. Oh, er I am going Stop to it. kill you. You guys! The only way to stop a bully is to be aggressive. I've got to put Drew down. Back off, idiot. What the hell did you just say to me? Gucken. Leave. Now. You're actually standing up for Nathan Prescott? picking on someone your own size which I hear is pretty small you're such a crazy freak mind your own business you have no idea how crazy I am keep pushing and find out you want a piece of this you mean your budding bromance with Nathan you're clearly into him just pull his hair already. <laughs> you think this is funny? You, you think I'm joking here? Look, if you insist on continuing to suck so much, there won't be any oxygen for the rest of us. Warum gewinnt er? All talk, no game, huh, Chloe? Und er wirft Zweck in. Oh. Ich habe das System echt noch nicht verstanden. That took me months to put together. Quit the team, Twitch, for your own good. Shit. Next time, mind your own business. Ach komm, Nathan, geh nach Hause. Are you all right? Thanks for sticking up for him. People think just because of his family. Everything okay here? <laughs> no problem, Skip. Ja, ja, komm, wenn alles vorbei ist, ne? Das ist auch ein leichter Job, den er sich da macht.
Es freut mich, dass wir reden konnten. Mich auch. Ich weiß, du tust dein Bestes. Ich liebe dich. Und, ach nee, wir haben noch was. Maybe if I delay going inside long enough, Blackwall will be overrun by future excellence. And by future excellence, I mean mole people. That pick would actually make a sweet tattoo. Nun gut, gehen wir mal in die Hölle. Oh, good. You're here. I do beseech you, chiefly that I might set it in my prayers. What is your name? Miranda. Oh, my father, I have broke your hest to say so. Good. Admired Miranda, indeed worth what's dearest in the world. Many a lady I have eyed with best regard, and many a time had listened to... Many a time, the harmony of their tongues Hath I listened to Hayden, you're killing me. You've had weeks to be off book. Sorry, Mr. Keaton. No, don't apologize to me. Apologize to your scene partner, who's been very accommodating, and to your other fellow actors, and most of all, to yourself. Mr. Keaton, sorry to interrupt, but does this look better? I had my mom take it in a bit. Rachel looks awesome. This is getting as surreal as last night. Meow. Looking good, Rach. Very cool. Exquisite, Rachel, as always. Mr. Keaton, I'm still having trouble with... My affections are then most humble. I have no ambition to see a goodlier man. I mean, does she really mean that? Especially because I just straight out told her I've been banging all the ladies. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, that is hard. We've talked about that line forever. We need a fresh perspective. The question is, are Miranda's feelings of instant passion for Ferdinand just inexperience in dramatic circumstances, or has she actually just met the love of her life? What do you think? Mm. Miranda's an idiot because falling in love is stupid. <laughs> What is she, 12? Actually, she's about 15, so your point, whoever you are, about being an idiot or being naive, is well taken. Thanks, Mr. Keaton. Later. See you later, guys. Oh, no. I have first period improv with a class full of freshmen now. I'll just be a minute. Okay, so... Why am I here again? Oh, could you grab my belt for me? I think it's in my bag over there. Uh, yeah, sure. Hat sie vielleicht ein T-Shirt für uns? Okay, uh, get the belt. Don't say any stupid shit and don't, like, fall down. <laughs> Should be doable, right? <laughs> <laughs> 